Welcome to Adentro. Today we're going to play Conway Game of Life. John Conway was a British mathematician who envisioned an infinite grid. Just imagine a grid with black squares. And here we're going to paint a few white. We're going to highlight these white pixels and we're going to call them living cells. And there are two states, alive or dead. And if you're dead, we're going to paint it black. Just imagine as white and black pixels. What are the rules? Well, a living cell needs of their environment to survive. So if a cell is alive, it will only survive if it has two or three living cells next to it, or if not, it will die. Just think about loneliness or overcrowded population, for example. So in this case, this red cell will actually die. It only has one next to it. And this one on the top, exactly the same. It only has one cell as well. Diagonals count. And of course, what about living cells? So this one will remain alive in the next term because it has also three. But there is one very important rule, which is that black cells can actually revive and become alive and exactly three living cells next to it. So in this example, this one will actually become alive in the next turn and this one also has three, so it will become alive. And these are the simple rules for John Conway Game of Life. The only thing we do is to create an initial configuration of the board and press play. And you can see that the patterns will emerge and will move through the grid. There is an amazing complexity that can come from these very simple rules. And this was the idea of John Conway, creating, showing how with a few very simple rules, chaotic patterns can emerge. And this is why it's called a zero player game, because the only thing we do is to create initial configuration. A few patterns that emerge. Still patterns are those ones that remain still for every single generation, they remain as it is. They are in perfect harmony. All the black cells remain dead, all the white cells remain alive. As they all just meet the exact requirements, nothing changes. Then there are oscillators. The initial configuration will create loops. As you can see, they will remain in this cycle forever. And just imagine that if you take off one pixel and we change it, the whole structure will crumble down. So there are plenty of examples of oscillators. These are different examples of configurations that they take uh, even 147 generations to become into the loop. Then we have our favorite ones, the spaceships, because yes, we can create vehicles. This initial configuration, when we press play, they move through the grid, like the initial one from the example, one to the right, one diagonally down. And finally, some curious ones, the Matusalem patterns. These ones are structures that take a lot of time to actually become into a loop. This is just an example of seven cells. And when you press play, it will take even 130 generations to actually become into the loop. There are different and many shapes that can be created, some even resembling animals. And the thing is that John Conway, a uh, game of life with these simple rules, you can even program. So for example, a clock where different cells will touch different parts of the configuration and actually become a clock that tracks time. You have other configurations that can track prime numbers, or you can even do Conway Game of Life within Conway Game of Life. Here, what we, what we present you is an idea on how to set up this initial board based on your DNA. The white cells are the ones that are less common in the population. So every initial board configuration is different for every single player. And the end results as well. We've created a ranking based on how much your configuration really stabilizes or gets into a loop. And well, a tribute to the mathematician John Conway. Thank you very much. We hope you enjoy it.